Well, the state works to figure out how the Supreme Court's ruling on executive orders affects unemployment. Thousands are still waiting for their benefits. Fox 17 problem solver Ryan Cummings explains some of those waiting are getting mixed messages now from the agency. It's been really stressful. It's been really, really stressful. Sarah Navary came to Michigan from Florida in 2018 to help her uncle. I was not planning on living here full time. I thought I was just coming out here to kind of help him transition. After returning to Florida with her daughter, she quit her master's program to move back to Michigan and be with her sick uncle full time. Sarah says she got a job through care.com, helping people in hospice care, mostly children. But that 1099 work quickly ended. When COVID hit, that's when everything just completely went downhill. That's when a new struggle started. She applied for unemployment benefits, but says the claim never went through and would not process. And I had done it five, six times, answered all the questions, and they said, we don't have any submissions for you at all. Can you go in? Can you do it again? Two more attempts and still nothing. Months later, it finally got approved in September. But she says her weekly benefit amount was the minimum offered even after she submitted her 1099 wages. Then more back and forth with the agency. My alert for my identity has not gone away. My open non-monetary issue has not gone away. And every time she calls, it's a different story. And it's just a lot of inconsistencies from the office, you know, giving me so many different directives all across the board to where I don't really know how to proceed anymore. She says she's owed more than $20,000. You can see her account has been flagged with non-monetary issues since February, and it stayed that way all summer a struggle that's taking a toll on her and her family. Because I know I'm not the only one, you know, but there's there's a lot of people that have kids, you know, and I've, I've always done everything the right way in my life. I've worked very, very hard for everything I've obtained. I don't have a lot of stuff, but the stuff I have, you know, I've worked hard for it. So it's really... It's really discouraging. She says her emails are going unanswered, and every time she seeks clarification, she only gets more confused. The part that gets me is that there's no support telling you this is where we're at with this. This is what's happened. This is where you're going to head with it. You know, expect for this. If you don't have anything to expect, you're just kind of stuck in this this unknowing phase. And not knowing how you're going to provide for your family is beyond stressful. That was our Ryan Cummings reporting. The UIA says there are more than 800,000 active claims right now. We've asked the agency how many managers are on staff to approve them and release the funds, but have not received a response.